Hello, everybody. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. Oh, what a wonderful Wednesday we had. And now it looks like a cold system is working its way through. From Canada, I might add, that's cold weather heading our way. A chance of the aurora. And I have your forecast details. It's all coming up next right here on Hutch's Weather. Now, a Hutch's Weather Update with meteorologist Hutch Johnson. All right, it's been awesome for the past couple of days. We've had uh, chances to kiss 50 degrees. In fact, we hit 50 in a couple of locations, some upper 40s for the rest of us here in the Southern Valley. A little cooler up to the north, but still a very pleasant day. I wanna point out your forecast as we go through our Thursday. We're starting out on a cold note, and that's one of those things that we just kind of contend with here. Let's take a look at your temperatures. Cool weather in the 20s, but you know what? That's well above our averages for morning lows. Average temperatures, at this time of the day, typically around 15 degrees or so. <sighs> We're way warmer than that. All right, let's take a look at what we could expect for your area. 28 this morning here in the Bemidji area to 22 in Devil's Lake, 26 for Jamestown. And well, babe, the Blue Ox has 28. What's it mean for Fargo? We're going to be around 23 uh, first thing in the morning as you're heading out the door on this last day of November. 15 degrees, your average low, though, so that's well above average. Nowhere near the record of 24 below. Almost 50 degrees warmer than that, huh? Yeah, I'll take that. Breezy at times with a wind from the southwest to northwest, kind of in that westerly direction throughout the day. Uh, gusts around 20 miles per hour. We could have some stronger gusts up to the north. All righty then, that's your planner for this morning. Now this afternoon, there'll be temperatures that'll be well above average in the Southern Valley, 35 to maybe an area getting up to 39. But remember, the cool pool's coming, coming at us out of Canada and temperatures will drop into the 20s and low 30s. So closer to average up in our northern communities. And there will be a cool breeze from the northwest, sometimes gusting to 25 miles per hour. And Hutch can't rule out a flake or two up near the international border. Now let's talk a little bit about the Fargo forecast. 35 degrees, northwest wind, 5 to 20 miles per hour. All in all, not a bad day, still above average, but cooler than our near 50 degree reading on our hump day. All right, Northern Lights. What you're looking at here is the probability forecast for Northern Lights. At high latitudes, there's a good probability tonight of seeing the Northern Lights. Here at mid latitudes, we're kind of on the edge here in North Dakota of the mid to high latitudes. So keep that in mind, but there is a chance at seeing some active Northern Lights or Aurora Borealis tonight. Thursday, the chances increase. It says Friday they increase, but check this out. Let's time this out. When Thursday, when Friday? Well, here it is. For tonight, we're expecting those uh, uh, chances to really increase as we go into the night hours. Here's Thursday at sunset, and it just keeps getting better. So as we go in towards midnight, here's December 1st at midnight, boom, that number is a seven on the KP index. That's pretty high. That means that the chances of seeing northern lights are pretty good, and they could be intense displays with a lot of color, maybe variable colors, not just the emerald green. So we'd love to have your photos. You can share them with me, email them to me. I'd love to have them. All in all, we got to worry about the clouds though. And here's a couple of tips for you for viewing those Northern Lights. Get away from the city lights if you can. I like to go north of the town. Okay, so that the city lights are behind me when I'm looking to the north. You want to look to the north and you want to bring a blanket and some hot chocolate and sit out there and be patient because uh, the chances are not always for those displays to be there the whole time. They might be just brief, but they could be quite beautiful indeed. Now, the cloud forecast is going to be important and there will be a chance for some clouds mingling with our viewing tonight and into your morning. I'll have details on that and what you can expect right here on Hutch's Weather. Thanks for joining me. Have an awesome Thursday. Day will be cooler. Have those wind uh, preparations taken into account. You know, a little extra hairspray. And, you know, you might want to put some rocks in the kids' pockets if they're a little bit light. But other than that, it should be a pretty good day to get out and about. Have a wonderful day. Check back here regularly on Hutch's Weather on YouTube. Check back regularly on my Facebook page. Give me a follow. Give the videos a like. I appreciate all of you for tuning in to Hutch's Weather.